This is my 1980 Suzuki RS250 that I traded for my old Yamaha, uh, 1982 Yamaha DT100. Now I got this started um, and it wasn't running before I brought it home. So I bought, I traded this bike, a, my running Yamaha for a non-running 250 and I rode to my work, bought a can of carb cleaner and a new spark plug, fired right up. Um, I have some throttle cable issues, so it made it rev a little bit high, but I'm going to replace so soon as seeing as in they're 40 years old. Now, um, where I'm at now is I started it up. I had a really bad clacking noise, a really bad clacking noise. So I dug into it a little bit more. Let me set you up here. And first thing when I, I saw when I pulled it off is this lovely figure here of my cylinder head. Wonderful. Previous owner had stated something along the lines of it has new rings in it. Probably because, and to my excitement and just me not paying attention, probably because it had grenaded before in the past. Here, sorry, it looks so crappy. Um, here's my cylinder. I'm sorry, piston. There's no unusual scratches. I can't feel anything on the side, but I do need to take some measurements and see exactly what's going on piston-wise. Now, as of right now, I know for a fact as long as I, if I measure this and it comes back out of spec, which I think it will, I'm gonna need a new sleeve for this. There are no scratches on my, my cylinder here, but if you pay very close attention right here, look at all that wear, man. That's from excessive piston slap next to one of these transfer ports. And on the other side, it's, not as extreme but you can still definitely see it right right here so what i'm going to probably end up doing is i don't have one of those bore um, measurement tools i'm going to try to do my best with my um pair of digital calipers it's, it's what i have um, available to me. So I'm going to take some measurements top and bottom of the cylinder wall and see where that lies. I assume it's going to be bad, especially towards the bottom. Um, so I might have to get a new cylinder. If my piston checks out, which I highly doubt, but this is a budget build. This is something for me to put around the trails on. I'm going to keep it, keep these new rings on it, and go from there. The other thing that I'm not very familiar with, and don't freak out, I very carefully laid this down. So I know that you're not supposed to have any top and bottom play, like up and down, and I really can't feel much of any at all. There's obviously side to side. And kind of twist it just a little bit not too much but there is no up and down play what this is is rocking back inside but i can't feel any up and down now i'm not going to do a bottom end i don't have a thousand dollars to spend on a new bottom fresh bottom end of this motor i am realistically just probably going to rebuild the top end go from there i might buy a donor engine because it's cheaper than buying a sleeve and a new piston um so i might just take the chance on that but um i guess today's lesson is if you're going to trade bikes or if you're going to buy a bike that's 40 years old probably ask to tear open the top end first if the seller will allow that 
I could do it. I bought this film was super cool and I kind of trusted him and took his word for it. But if I'm gonna be honest, I don't even think he knew about this issue. Um, because he was 65 and barely rode anymore. But yeah, so I'll keep you guys posted and um, thanks for watching.